This is Raptor News, and today, if you want to believe God, and you want to get right and change your life, and save yourself for once in your pathetic life, listen to what I have to say. This has become a battle for your souls, and the majority preaching the word today are devils. False Christ coming in the name of Christ to deceive many, they devils. Okay, this is the foundation right here. And you need this foundation in order to prove everything that was written in the New Testament incorrect. But we don't even have to prove it. Because today, if you would listen to the New Testament, it will tell you itself that it changed the word of God into a lie. And it made up Jesus Christ. And it made up the image of the beast. Malachi 3, 6, for, for I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Who's not consumed? The one who believes that God don't ever change. Then they're not going to be consumed by the fire. Psalm 37, 38. But the transgressors shall be destroyed altogether. Anybody transgressing and saying God changed is going to be destroyed together. Since you're all together in this madness, you'll all die together. Daniel 7, 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Who? The sons of Satan, the Gentiles. It's, it's provable. Watch. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Who's doing that? The Gentiles, watch. The Hebrews shall be trotted underfoot by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And think to change the time and law. They think to do what? They change the times and laws. When God said he does what? I don't change. Who changed it? The Gentiles speaking great words. These great words are called lies, if y'all don't know. And, and they shall be given into his hand to do what? Change the law into a time and time and the dividing of time until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Is it clear to anybody yet? Because we're going to clear it up. Hebrews seven twelve, For the priesthood being changed... There is made a necessity, a change also of the law. So who is the priesthood? The Roman Catholic Church? All right. They not, they're not talking about our priesthood. They're talking about theirs. And then watch this. Who's the one that got you trotted underfoot? The Gentiles. What did they think to do? Change the times and law. And it, it was given into his hand. But we know what? God don't change. So if something is different from the Old Testament, it is a bald-faced lie of these heathen, paganistic, polytheist Gentiles who are in truth atheists. Isaiah 24, 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, and that's the Gentiles. Because they have transgressed the laws. So three times it told you they did what? Transgressed and changed the laws. They changed the ordinance of God. And they broke the everlasting covenant. So now we know that the Torah and the Bible have been changed. And then we're going to know why. You know. Because it's, it's a battle for your souls today. We got a minute, people. We got a minute. And I'm telling you, it's a short time. Y'all all going to get destroyed, believing in a false god. First Maccabees 348, King James Version. And laid open the book of the law, fourth time they told you. And what they do? Wherein the heathen, straight up saying it's him now, huh? Has sought to paint the likeness of their image. What is the image? The image of the beast. 
And what is that? Christ crucified. Somebody had to die to save all of these unsavable bastards. That's why they did it. But also they did it so your ass go to hell along with them. Because they was all doomed to the fire. Romans 123. And change, fifth time you heard it, the glory of the uncorruptible God, proving this one and all the rest of them, into an image. They did what? They had sought to paint the likeness of their image. They changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man. Who is corruptible man? The Gentile. Okay. First Timothy 3.16. And the Gentile here and saying, no, he's lying. This can't be true. Straight up right there in your face. And without controversy, the greatest the mystery of godliness now. Why? Because they changed it. He changed it. God was manifest in the flesh. Okay. What did what they say they was going to do? Who's writing right here? Paul of Tarsus. Roman Catholic Church, right? Right? You think it was a Romans in the Hebrew Bible? Y'all sick, man. They changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made a likeness to corruptible man. And then how did they do it? They said, now great is the controversy and mystery of godliness. God was manifest into flesh. Made into, God is made into the image of corruptible man. Justified in the spirit, seen of the angels, preached unto the Gentiles, which God said he was going to destroy. And that he cast out. And he said he abhorred them. Now he coming to save them. That's a lie. But not only did the Bible come to save the Gentiles, but to also take salvation from the black man. See, when God said he was going to save us all. You know, all of Israel shall be saved. Okay. Second Chronicles 2, 6. But who was able to build him a house? What body he going to fit in? Seeing that heavens of heavens of heavens cannot contain him. Who was able to put him in some flesh? The Gentiles? By what? Painting a picture of him in your mind. Nobody's seen that Christ crucified character that, we've been, that we grew up looking at. That you look at now and you say, that's Jesus. No, that's the mark of the beast and the image of the beast. So God cannot... Be in the flesh when the heavens of heavens of heaven cannot contain him. How sick can you guys be, man? So he goes more to tell you that he lied. Because watch, here go the lie right here. God was manifest in the flesh. That's the lie. When heaven can't even contain him. But they already told you somebody was going to lie. He asked who, and, and changed the uncorruptible God into the image made like corruptible man. He said, who changed it? You did. That's who changed it. You in the Roman Catholic Church. Watch this. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Serve and worship Christ, the creature. That's the lie. The son along with the father. It's a lie. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. You got to go through Christ now to get to God. Who is blessed forever. Amen. Okay. Romans 3, 7. I'm just, uh, when I pound the truth into you, you're going to know, watch this, and the truth shall set you free. Because it's going to be manifest. All the camps and everything, they lying to you. All of them are demons. And I don't give a damn if they likable damn demons or not. Or they entertaining demons and they sound like they so fired up with the truth. They all liars and that's why they can't stand before me. I swat them like flies. For if the truth of God had more abounded through my lie. What was the lie again people? That he changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into the image made like man. God was made manifest in the flesh. That's the lie. For the truth of God has more abounded through my lie. They're straight up telling you they did the shit. 
all of the verses I read are straight up telling you unto his glory. Why yet am I also judged as a sinner? This is the false prophet that's going to be burning in the lake of fire. Y'all don't know? 1 Corinthians 10 20. But I say the things which the Gentiles sacrifice. Y'all all sacrifice to devils and not to God. Because what? Christ crucified is a fucking devil. Made up by devils. Keep going. Talking about the Gentiles again and us. Jeremiah 2 11. Have the nation changed their gods? Which are no gods, they devils. But my people have changed the glory for that which does not profit. Now they're worshiping Christ. Now they're adding Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. See how all them devils swear by that? Suckering you into that because it sounds good to you? But it's blasphemy. It's blasphemy in the name of God every day. Galatians 5 2. Behold, I, Paul, not God, not Christ, I, Paul, say unto you that if you be circumcised, Christ shall not profit you nothing. And then what did God say? My people have changed their glory for that which profit them nothing, Christ. And not the Christ that came to the lost sheep of Israel, Christ crucified, that they, they, they made up after the death of Christ. The Gentiles made him up. We just read it. Psalms 96 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Who is the God of the nation? Jesus Christ, right? God said he was what? An idol. An image made of to corruptible man. But the Lord made the heavens. He is not the creator. John 1, 18, no one has ever seen God. That's what they say. But the one and only son who is himself God. So they, they made the son what? God now to replace what? The God of Israel with what? Corruptible man. And y'all bought it. So God says in Exodus twenty two twenty. He that sacrificed then unto any God, save the Lord only, he shall utterly be destroyed. The whole world is getting ready to get that God. 2.3 billion Christians in America is going to be destroyed. Watch. Because of what? Malachi 3, 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. There is no new covenant, and there is no Christ walking the earth. There is no Christ returning. There is no Christ that died for your sins when God said, look unto me and be ye saved. There is no Christ at the right side of the Father when the Father is telling you, there is none beside me. There is no Savior behind, beside me. I'm a just God. Right? Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Let's wrap the news.